Well, good afternoon and welcome to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup here in Sydney, Australia. Group A, game day two action. China taking on Bosnia and Herzegovina. Well, you see the fans, they were out here yesterday. Hopefully, Bosnia and Herzegovina can give a little bit better of a showing for their fans. They're gonna need more people to step up. You imagine that extra day, well, it wasn't a day off because they played yesterday morning, but Jonkel Jones, she did not, that woman right there, she did not look like herself. And we do know that she had just got off a flight two days before. And I'm hoping with this extra day, maybe a little less jet lag, and she'll be ready to go. But it's more about other people having to step up. You cannot win at this level with one player. And that, even if that player is Jonkel Jones. So I think we're gonna need to see a bigger game from the captain, Jieda. We do know that coach uh, Goran Loho was not happy with his team yesterday. Normally they had practice canceled, but that canceled practice turned into a practice. So he clearly was not happy with his team's performance. And talk about China. They were absolutely incredible yesterday. They beat Korea 107 to 44. Can they go 2-0 in the first two games in this tournament? I think it's very possible. I pecked them before the tournament, and after watching yesterday, I think this is a podium-level team that China has brought here to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup 2022 edition. Almost, they had 11 out of 12 players score, and you have to know that Coach Wei Zhuang is incredibly, there she is, that woman right there, has to be happy with their performance. Can they continue to play at the kind of level that they did yesterday? Their starting five was incredible. But then they had the luxury of going to their bench, and even their bench kept up at the same high clipping, scoring type of a game. And, you know, maybe a more quiet game for one of my favorite players, Huang Su Jing. So there you see Group A, Puerto Rico lost to USA, 42 to 106. Belgium and Korea starting soon, and so, sorry, happening now, and China and Bosnia and Herzegovina will be coming up shortly. And so Group A standings, USA at 2-0 after their win this morning. Puerto Rico, 1-1, they beat Bosnia and Herzegovina yesterday. And Belgium still looking for their first win as well as Bosnia and Herzegovina. Korea have now falled. We'll take a quick break for the playings of the national anthems. The national anthem of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The National Anthem of China.
Pleasantries happen now because in about three minutes, it will not be smiles and handshakes. It will be a battle. China trying to go 2-1-0. Bosnia trying to get their first ever World Cup win. Can they do it against a very talented Chinese team? We'll find out. Shona Thorburn alongside Azania Stewart will be bringing you today's action. Azania. What do you think the chances are? Hold on. So, excuse me, from Denmark, we have Maj Forsberg is the chief, and Julio Anaya Friel from Panama, along with Sarah El Sharnubi, will be calling tonight's game. So, congratulations to that team. And that woman right there, you saw John Kale Jones, she's in the starting lineup. Will she feel better? Matea Tavich, Nikolina Elez, Nikolina Knesevich, and Melitza Dioda. So same starting five that they had yesterday. Yeah. Will the starting five play a little bit better? I didn't see a great game from them yesterday. Can they be better? Coach Goran Loyo yeah. <laughs> certainly hopes so. I think Dioda needed more touches, needed to get herself more involved. She had eight points really late in the quarter. Uh, John Cole Jones, 15 points, eight rebounds, and she only had like, I think, 15 uh, minutes. So her minutes weren't a lot. And then the starting lineups of China. Well, there you see it. We see Wang, Yang, Li Mang, Pan, and Li Yuida. And they Yuida, were solid, weren't they? They absolutely <laughs> destroyed Korea, 107 to 44. I mean, look how serious coach Wei Zhuang Have we is. seen her crack a smile? No, yeah. we have not. Okay. I don't think we will until this team is on the podium. Right. And I think they definitely have a chance. That is a great point. And uh, Li uh, Yiru, excuse me, uh, they're the post players and Ha Ju are amazing for me. Yeah, they they don't play much together. They sub like for like, but they had 13 points, 15 rebounds, and then nine points and seven rebounds. They're a big part of this Chinese team. Obviously, I'm a bit biased because I love post play, but man, China find those players early and often. Well, the TSO countdown tip off clock. We are just under a minute to go here at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup in Sydney, down under Australia. 2022, big game. If China can go 2-0, I think China Look have good. an opportunity yeah. to finish top two in this group. And there you see it, Bosnia is still looking for their first ever Euro Cup, uh, sorry, World Cup win. I think, uh, well, obviously they were in uh, Euro Basket was their great uh, come out, but for me, they just need to get better. They don't need to get obviously they would love this win But for me, you need step-by-step -step motions. This is their first time here at this big stage of the World Cup Their federation should be very very proud, but at this point proud is not enough You do need to be better in as yesterday. I felt like the team looked sluggish. I feel like they looked slow uh, Only Junko Jones got off the plane. She was playing in the WNBA finals uh, and, and unfortunately lost but she came right on that plane and was here and she gave it her all. And so I need a bit more from the Bosnian Hexagovina girls. Yep, and you saw that China, 107 points yesterday, Ooh. 54 at halftime. So they didn't slow down in the second half. They did not let up. I mentioned it yesterday. It was a statement win for China. They were. Are we going to have the same kind of performance today? Or are Bosnia and Herzegovina going to make things a little bit difficult for this very, very dangerous and talented China team? Do you have a little bit different uh, matchup there? Not, not matchup, excuse me, but number 12 for China is getting the start. Pan over number 11, Huang, who, Huang for me could be a top five all-star player at this competition.
Well, good afternoon and welcome to the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup here in Sydney, Australia. 2022 China taking on Bosnia and Herzegovina and China starting out in the zone and Joe says I feel it folks I've recovered from that long plane ride and that's a great sign if you are a Bosnian basketball fan oh that's for sure and that's good for John Quill she looks much much better in herself it is the first minute but that's exactly what you want to see if you're the Bosnian the Uridi Uridu excuse me uh, you mentioned her before the game started. One of the bigs for China who is incredibly talented. Wang says, I can shoot from three also. Oh, and unfortunately, yeah, Nikolina Kinesovic. She used to be Babbage for you Bosnian fans. If you're worried, where is Babbage? Don't worry, she's here. Yeah, she got married over the summer. And I need a bit more from her also. I felt like she was quite quiet um, yesterday's game. Uh, she... Well, it was a toenail, but it was a right call by the referees. So now China with a, another opportunity to get on the score, scoreboard. Yang, stop, pops. And that shot was well off by her. And look at this. Great job. Nice passing. Way to get out and run. And that's Knesevic who's on the scoreboard. You said they need her. Yep. And that's a good sign. And that really looked like Chinese in transition. The uh, Bosnia is getting out in tri uh, transition. And they missed their first shot. And big rebound by John Quells. And boy, she has handles too. And she looks good here when she's uh, bringing up the ball. Jones, spin move. Finds the cutting of leads, but she just can't really hold on to it. And that's going to be a turnover. And Lee Mang comes up with it. Quick extra pass. She missed one earlier. That shot rolls in. Good job there by the captain, Yang Liwei. Gets the lovely soft uh, bounce. And uh, both teams on the scoreboard. Well, a little bit too aggressive. Bumping the cutter which is uh, John Quill Jones. No doubt they've done their scout on her. She uh, averaged a double-double and the highest scorer in the FIBA Cup and then also an MVP of that tournament. Savage finds Jira. She kicks it, an extra pass, and Knesevich's shot is well short. Li Mang, talented. She just goes all the way. She has the height. She has the skill. We know she's a shooter, but yesterday she proved that her offensive game is more dynamic than just shooting from the outside. Yeah, Li Mang is definitely one to stop. Hey, um, Chinese um, hairbands are black today. They always do the signature pink. Where has it gone? I'm going to have to speak to them later <laughs> about that. Jones gets the ball inside. Will fade away. And good shot. Yeah. Can't get the soft roll. Those are the shots she needs to take, but a nice drive down the middle. <laughs> Great job by Wang. See you. She says, see you later, defense. Look at this, post to post on ball screen. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Knesevich. Ah, maybe th throw it up. Yeah. To the rim. Turnover, yeah, he had the height advantage, Jones. And Big Girl runs the floor, and that's Lee Yuiru, who is rewarded by her guards for running the floor hard. And this is where I think Bosnia will struggle, because the transition of the Chinese here, they get the turnover, get their hands to it, and they're off to the races. And I don't know if they can keep up with this pace, the Bosnian Herzegovina. So we're listening to the timeout uh, right now. If you don't have to pass, don't force it. Wait for somebody to come get the ball. Don't just throw the ball away. Pressure, pressure is okay. We're going with the pressure. But don't let them run transition. Transition, they run from our mistakes, okay? 
match up the closest one, guys. Match up the closest one and stop the ball immediately. Hey, okay, now, five. Jay, Jay. Jay, Jay. Jay, Jay. Go for fake. Screen. Comes down. Jebo comes up for real kick and roll. And on that side. Jay, Jay. Let's go. Well, there you have it, Coach said. And mother of dragons, JJ said, hey, if you don't have to pass it, don't. If they're in the passing lanes, and then also the transition turnovers, right? They're on their necks. As soon as they turn it over, they're on the other end. And I was going to say, you know, you're only down four. What do you think about this early timeout by Coach uh, Loyal? I think it's good. Yeah. Good idea, yeah. Before the game gets out of hand, he drew up a play for John Paul Jones, but a little soft full court press here by the Chinese. So they passed it to her. Tough catch. She's going to go to work, though. And she's a rewarded by the aggressive spin move. And that's going to be a foul going against Pan. Oh, Coach Lawyer was probably pleading his case. Hits the first. I love that sound when the ball goes through the rim. It says, Kuh. my favorite sound of basketball. Just makes me happy. Yeah. Kuh. 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 Hear it? You hear it? Not the swish. No. Well, Jones. And great start by her. Five points already. But like you said, you need more than one person to score. And this is the difference. You didn't see Jones get up and try and defend yesterday. Yeah. That was it. She didn't try and block shots at all, did she? She was so tired. She yep. arced. She screamed <laughs> for a sub. Yeah. 45 uh, seconds left in the quarter, and yeah. she needed to come out. Yeah. And that's the jet lag, right? She's traveled uh, from America, which... Li Meng. She's a shooter. I said it. And... So smooth. So smooth. She doesn't need a lot of space to get her shot up. But no emotion from her. Just so, you know... Nobody's going to rush me. I'm going to do what I do best. Tavich says, I can shoot too. What a response by Matea Tavich. And this is a Bosnia team that I'm more used to. They're playing much better today. So Yang, maybe just a little bit of overhelping there from Bosnia and Herzegovina. China are making it really tough for uh, John Quill Jones just getting up right underneath her. She's not even able to roll down to the basket here. We'll see. She screams, she starts to make her roll, and they just jam her up. It's a foul. That's a good call by the referees. Yep. And, you know, you talk about that, jamming the roller, but it is a foul if you're a little bit too aggressive with it. Well, Jones is double teamed before she even catches it, but great pass by the captain. Diura and Jones does not miss when she is that close. And nice. what a defensive play by Knesevich. And this is a different kind of basketball we are seeing here today. Much oh. better. And offensive rebound, kick out. Jones, <laughs> one foot. I mentioned, maybe not yesterday, because we didn't really see the kind of basketball that we expect from this team and Jones. Yeah. But gosh, her game just, look at this. This, this is, is hard exactly to what Kevin yeah. Durant does. Yep. She She's is a spitting image. She is. Yeah. Like for like, off the leg. And that's tough to guard and stop. Here comes China. Oh, Wang got to the basket way too easily. Somehow missed that, though. And Jones, especially around these small Chinese guards, needs to probably give the ball up early to a, a guard. Yeah. Tavich has already made one. And she forces the mismatch. And great drive attacking the big is Tavich. And now Bosnia have taken 
a lead and a quick timeout is yes. going to be called by Coach Wei Zhuang of and China. She wants to talk about it. Yeah, and Tavish says, come on, crowd. They've got a nice little crowd in here. And China, whoa, they want to stop the bleeding because this is a new Bosnia team that we did not see yesterday. Well, listen in to the timeout. Uh, Well, Shona, my Chinese isn't any good as we get to see the highlights, but her aggression and her uh, angriness was definitely come across uh, to the Chinese players. That's a timeout, and she's saying we're not doing our jobs, and uh, we're in this game, and Bosnia is looking good. I don't know how much they can hold this up. I think China is in much better shape, but as of now, they're doing a good job. Well, there you see one of my favorite players in this tournament, number 11, Huang Sujing, check into the game for China. And a wide open, Li Yuriru. And she kept that ball so high, nobody's getting that. And Jumbetta is also in the game. Tavic had the hot start, her shot off. Look at that offensive rebound, though, by Elise. Gets it to Jones. And Jones is just going to butt dribble down. But nice kick out. And Zambetta and another <laughs> miss by Zambetta and another offensive rebound by Elise. Good rebounding by Bosnia, giving them extra possessions. And Denic, her shots off, and Jones just can't come up with the rebound. But great offensive play, and look at this—that's a tough catch. That's a that's a tough catch for your big. But the right decision. She's on transition, running the floor, and she tries to reward her. And uh... Uh, here, Bosnia going to set things up, going straight in to their best player, who, no surprise, is double teamed. And a foul is going to go against Jones. And for me, we saw this yesterday, right? John Claude Jones, you've done your job here. Boom. Well, here, okay, she comes and steals the ball. But you're going to draw a double every single time you catch the ball. So sometimes you just got to catch. Be patient on that block. Wait for that double and then find your open teammate. It's coming every single time. And two quick fouls for Bosnia. Yeah, Not sure that foul was necessary. No, no, and easy to call when she puts her hands up so much so. Quick inbound pass, pass back out, and Huang misses that shot. I think JJ's dangerous when she brings <laughs> the ball up here. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, she missed that layup, but I agree with you, Azania. Yeah. And great job there by Delich. Just reaching in, you see uh, Wang not too happy. She thought it was a reach in foul. I think it was a pretty good call by the referee, though. Yeah, throw it, throw it. <laughs> Just throw it up. And Jones, great job, nice high-low action. It leads to Jones. Li Mang is gonna have an and one though. And there's some emotion from Li Mang. She said yes. And that's the thing, even though 
here we see her nice little crossover and the finish. Uh, John Quill Jones down here, she started working so early. She said, hi, low. She knew exactly what she wanted. They got it to her. But now Bosnia needs to get back in defense. They need to transition defense better because, boy, China's coming at you quick and fast and heavy. Uh, you said it, Li Mang at the free throw right, right now. And that's her eighth point already in this quarter. Jombetta gets it off to Elise. Now Delich is going to use the handoff. So Jones getting a breather. Delich finds Tavich. Oh, and her reverse lamp is no good. And great hustle by Elise, but she's just not able to come up with another offensive rebound. She already has a couple and almost a backdoor call. But it wasn't. And zero defense. And Yang Li Wei says, I'll take it. Jumpetta, she was quiet yesterday. Yes, she was. And great catch. Not able to finish is Nikolina Delic. Delic was solid yesterday too. Just played some good minutes subbing in for John Quell. Undersized, but intelligent, smart player. And it just gives uh, John Quell some time to rest and recover. And so she's had an extra day of recovery and sleep. Not recovery, because she had a game yesterday morning at 10.30. But I'm sure they did have practice yesterday after the game. Remember, it was originally canceled, and Coach Loyo changed that. Yeah, he changed. Before the game, it was canceled. After the game, guess what? That practice was back on the schedule. But I'm sure Jones had a great night's sleep, and Li Meng misses that shot. But China are able to come up with the board. And Li Ueru draws the foul. And we've seen this a lot. Coach, um, Coach Wei Zhuang from China, she loves to keep her starters and players in for a long time. And just miscommunication. You see Bosnia in a 2-3 zone on the out of bounds there. But Tavic, you need to know where the offensive players are. Yeah, match up early, sleeping Bosnia. And China makes them play. Dombetta, step back, is well off the mark. And ball will go back to China. Yeah, Jambetta for me can get a better shot than that. I Have agree. some movement. The ball is sticking. Uh, let all five players touch the ball. Get some cutting. And make China have to defend you. So they're in that zone. And difficult because China has shooters. But they also have a great post presence. Yuang kicks it. Li Mang, nice Easy. dump pass yeah. to Li Yueru. And that was beautiful basketball from China. Tabich, deep shot. It's good, folks. Goodness me, I thought, why did she shoot that? 3.5 seconds. She knows why. Why? Because it's going in. You better guard her. And that keeps Bosnia Herzegovina right where they need to be. Look at this. Sets her feet, puts it up with lots of time. And she <laughs> says, yes to the gods. And that's the kind of reaction you expect from Tavich. So, you said it. China leading Bosnia after tw 10, 26 to 21. And Azania, this is a different Bosnia and Herzegovina team that we are seeing here today compared to yesterday. Yeah, and I'm happy to see it. I kind of went off at the start of the broadcast saying we need more from them there. You see uh, China shooting eight from 10 from two and uh, three from eight from the three-point line. I needed more from them, and I'm glad they came to answer. You can't just lay down and die as we get to see the best players of the first quarter. John Cole Jones started up hot, 
from the three-point line. But yeah, they weren't good. And all I can blame it on was tiredness. I felt like the whole team was playing like they just got off the plane, but it was just John Quell. Uh, but they're playing better and they needed to because this Chinese team is good. Maybe it was sympathy pains all her teammates had <laughs> for John <Jungle> Quell Jones. <laughs> yeah, fair. But I saw John Quell at the hotel yesterday and I said, look, just take your time. You know, run up and down a little, get a rebound or two, warm up. And she was like, thanks for the advice. But boy, that advice doesn't help when you've traveled over, what, 12, 15, 20 hours? I don't know. What is it from? She was in Vegas. No, they were in Connecticut were in for their last game. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead and download your courtside 1891 app. I have it on my phone. So does Shona. Keeps you up to date with the highlights, the games and all the good basketball that's happening in this tournament. Well, trailing by five is Bosnia and Herzegovina. And game clock, need the score clock started. Oh, shot yeah. Uh, yeah, shot clock, sorry. So, they are gonna wind it down. Three seconds. Ball back to China. Yuang. And I like the aggressive de defense by Nikolina Delic, but maybe just a little bit too aggressive. It's a first foul, so that's okay. Lee. Hands it off to Wu Tong Tong, who uses a flare screen. Wu Tong Tong, one footed floater. Well, shot actually is good. Nice, Wu Tong Tong. We like that from you. Little mid range and finish. Jones had a little bit of a breather at the end of the first. Drives baseline, they bring the double. Jumbetta, oh, is kind of left open and not able to convert that layup, though. The Yuan, well off the mark. And this is the kind of hustle from Jones that we didn't really see yesterday. Good defense there, they're right up under her. And know she can shoot the three. Two on the three on the clock, excuse me. They've got to get something up and they turn it over. They don't even get a shot up, Shona. Travel. And how, how about that from your big running the floor? That's the second time we've already seen that here from China. Either way, that's a good run, and see what I mean? Out in transition, as soon as you turn over the ball, China is on the other end. She, uh, number 14 for China, Li yeah. Yuiru, has played this entire game so far. Oh, wow. Okay, and she's still running the floor, and here she goes again. Exactly. Wu Tong Tong, nice, nice pass to Li Meng, and that's a quick conversion. And now they are up double digits, 11 points. So a quick timeout again by coach Goran Noyo. So Talk about things. Yeah, you're right about the big. They usually uh, trade out for uh, Hang Zhu by now, but she's doing a fantastic job and she's obviously not tired as she's been running the floor. Well, listen in for the timeout. Just continue. She was here, standing here. She couldn't get this screen to go down. Just keep moving. Go from here. Use the player, okay? Or go for handles. Listen. They're starting now running transitions. We have to slow them down. We have to slow the ball immediately. Press the ball immediately. 
Finish on the one side. Jay, 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 Jay set, set the back screen for, for the guard. No, guard set the back screen to Jay, Jay, and then Jay, Jay go and play Spanish. Okay. Let's go. Well, that was a stat that just came up. 18 points in the paint for China and 14 points fast break. That's the game right there, and that's difficult to guard. Yep. Turnovers, bad shots. And we saw China play exactly that way yesterday. Yeah, as this well. is nothing new. Now everyone shares the ball, everyone touches the ball. They have a nice magic formula, is what I like to call it. it goes in, it goes out. Uh, and good play. Well, let's see what Bosnia can do after the, out of that timeout. And Tavic gets it back. Knesevic, tough three-point shot is off the mark. Fight for the rebound. Jones comes up with it, and she gets the put back, and she stares the referee down, because I think she wanted a foul call as well. Imang, great pass. And Lee Yuiru, and you can see on your screen quickly, right before that, Jones was like, but wait, down on the other end, why is she getting and one calls, and I'm not? Yeah, and she shakes her head, and she's like, please, referee here, nice little pocket pass. And she just misses the layup, but sticks with it. And that's what I'm talking about in the transition, when John Carl Jones is down here staring down the referee, here comes China, they're, they're in the transition break. You don't have time to, uh, have a picnic with the referees. You've got to get back in defense. Well, great job there by number 14, and she's going to get a little bit of a break as the other Chinese tower comes in. Checks in, Hong Shu. Great minutes from uh, Li Yeru. Not too bad, 11 points, five boards. Yeah, light work. <laughs> Tabich. She's hit a couple, and that shot looked good, but rolls in and out. And now China are not able to push the ball up quickly, and Tavich helps the referees by... I'm leaving that, if that's me. I need time to breathe. Uh, Jones is probably like, no, no, just leave it. Yeah. On Shu takes it out. She played in the WNBA, so she has seen Jones today. Uh, sorry, she has played against Jones. Got the mismatch down low. They look for it, and they get it. And they're just so aware of who has the best opportunity to score this Chinese team. Yeah. You can tell that they've spent many, many days and hours and months together practicing and learning each other, but guess what? Nikolina Knezovic has come out ready to play and make up for maybe her poor game yesterday and almost a save, but miscommunication there by Li Yuan. Maybe penetrated a little bit too deep. But yet again, that transition offense for China is so fast, so quick. In that time, Bosnia gets away with one. And Elise gets it back to Knesevic. Two on the and clock. she's going to have to put it up. Elise does, though. And shots well off. And guess what? Who's running? Look at the big. And what? No, no shots. shots. Ah. But I love the way that the bigs of China get on the rim. They just run the floor. Yeah. And their guards do an ex excellent job of Riding rewarding them, them yep. when they do run. Yeah. Because isn't that, I mean, you're a big. Yeah, I hate it when they don't right? pass me. No, I don't. But also, also you have to realize when you run as a big, uh, so much of the defense sucks to the middle. And then that way it also opens up the shooters. But they're definitely rewarding their big players. So I wouldn't mind playing for the Chinese team. Well, Wu 
Tong Tong's shot is off the front of the rim. And Jones, Jones, her shot rims in and out. Rims in and out. Li Yuan, Huang, and no defense here. Look at that. Don't know how Hong Shu missed that. And a hustle for it. the rebound comes up into the hands of the white jerseys. Personal foul. Well, China off to a hot start here in the second quarter. Just under five minutes to play. Damage. What a day she is having early in this game. Yeah, nice. She'll be on the highlight reel later tonight. Yeah, way to take on the big. He's not scared. Wu Tong Tong. Huang. Shots off the front. And the smallest player comes up with the offensive rebound, but is just not able to hold on to it. And what about this battle we are seeing from both teams? A tough shot. Ooh, she can't make nice. the open shots, but how about that one by Han Shu? Wow, when your big six foot nine post player is doing a little step back on John Quill Jones, it's going to be a long day for you, Bosnia. And good hands, and they managed to get the turnover. And John Quill Jones is just starting to get a little frustrated and angry uh, and I think it's because obviously they're sending the devil they're getting in up under her causing the frustration where no doubt that is a scout that's probably the top of the scouting list <laughs> and this was the nice oh it, no this is the turn around yeah Look at this hustle play Ooh. nice I like real. I like it's it. Cool shot. I don't know how you can uh, possibly block that. And Knesevich, great job. Nice inside. And a couple early misses here by Hong Shu that we normally see her make. And now this is a battle of two tall women. Great reverse layup is John Kell Jones. And way to use protection of the rim. Good finish by John Quell. She does have two fouls though. And coach Goron Loyo has decided to keep her in the game. Han Shu, she's missed one earlier and she misses that one. And now Knesevich is out and running. And I'm wondering if we'll see Jones come out for these last couple minutes. Knesevich, wide open at the free throw line, but she's not able to make it. Knesevic puts her hand up and says, that's my foul. Much better minutes from her, in my opinion. She's um, being more aggressive, looking to the basket, playing tough defense. And they both get well-earned rest, uh, and uh, John Quell. She only has four points, but you have a feeling that she's doing a lot more than just yeah. scoring for her. And her, it's her attitude. Yeah, she's running How through passing lanes. How different it is yeah. compared to yesterday. Correct. So Jones getting a breather, a much needed breather, it looks like. Well, Wu Tong Tong makes the first. And the second. <laughs> nice 
not a lot of movement here by Bosnia. The ball is sticking. And so have a turnover. A turnover yep. yep. And look at this. You had three, four people back. I don't know how she missed that, but talk about a sprint by Shang Ru. Just not able to convert. There was four Bosnian players back in front of her. And she still outran them all. And Inez's shot is off. But a holding foul on the rebound is going to go against China. So ball will stay here. Just over two minutes left to play. Bosnia trailing China 21, uh, sorry, 41 to 29. Diora, nice little reverse layup. Nice. And well needed score for Bosnia Herzegovina. On two, just turn around, jump shot is no good. But another offensive rebound and nice heads up play by Li Yuan to Yuan Su Jing. And they don't give up, do they? As soon as that ball goes up, you've got players crashing the boards. So smart, so intelligent. Good job, China. And tough pass is not able to be caught, which is going to lead to China sprinting out. Look at this. They know exactly who they want to get the ball to. And you mentioned it. When your bigs run the floor, the yeah, defense collapses. Yeah. And that's exactly what I think we saw. And it, and it gave a wide open shot for Li Yuan. Yeah, and when your bigs are so dominant, you've got to worry about them. But it really does open up the floor. Tavich's shot is off. And you got to dig down and get a couple defensive stops here if you're Bosnia. And Tavich is working so hard. She looks at Coach Loyo and says, hey, I need a sub, brother. Get me out of here. And she is. And she's so angry. And she knows that shot is going to be in. And she pleads her case, but she'll get some well-earned rest for this last 40 seconds. Li Yuan just throws it up, and Han Shu doesn't miss that one. That was pretty, wasn't it? That was nice. She literally threw the it. ball up in the air. Yep. And said, you go get it, big. And aggressive defense is going to be called against Wu Chong Tong. So good job there by Jura coming off using the off ball screen. Look at that. Uh, she also luxury. knows where her big is going to be. Yeah. She's 6'9 also. So once she puts <laughs> her hands out, that's probably 8, 9 foot as well. Maybe even higher, 10 foot. Drumbetta has been quiet today. And unfortunately, she's going to turn the ball over. And China will have 8.2 seconds left. And Coach Wei Zhuang is going to call a timeout because I'm going to guess she's going to draw something up here. We will listen in and try and see what she wants to do. Well, they have 8.2 seconds. Can they break that 50 mark again for two games in a row? I'm going to say, yeah, they're going to score right here. Yeah? Yeah. All right. We will find out. Something to the rim. They've got enough time. 8.2 uh, is more than enough. And 
And I was going to say that almost looked like a foul, and it is going to be called a foul. So China going to the line, and it's Zhang Ru. I should have bet you owe me a bevy. He's <laughs> going to make these. Well, she makes the first. And that's it. They have made the 50-point mark again. So another great big half by China as they lead by 19, 50 to 31 over Bosnia and Herzegovina. So, Azania, similar team that we saw yesterday in this China team. But I also think Bosnia and Herzegovina are playing a lot better. Yeah. It's just China is that much better. They're so much better. China winning the rebounding game 22 to 16 and then steals 8 to 1. And no doubt, all those 8 steals are out in fast break. Lee with 11 and Jones with 15 leading all scorers. This is the Chinese team that we saw yesterday. Incredible. I feel like they get play and production from every person who touches the floor. And then Jungpo Jones uh, is looking much, much better, uh, in my opinion, than she was looking a little sluggish, not today. Anyway, we get to watch the first half highlights. And no doubt there was some Jungpo Jones, mother of all dragons. Um, and I said at the start of um, the game, I would like Bosnia to get better, move forward, uh, and for sure, I feel like I'm seeing that today. No doubt, I think they're over match against yes. China. There's just too many weapons, but they're doing much better today. And, and you have to be happy if you're Coach Goran Loyo. But at the same time, are you also disappointed because you're saying, why could you not have played like this yesterday? And we possibly could have gotten that big win over Puerto Rico. Yeah, and I thought, yeah, you're right. You don't want to talk about the past, <laughs> you but don't. you don't want the past to come back and bite you. Right. <laughs> It's true, but Puerto Rico looked real good yesterday. I felt like they uh, got out in transition because they knew Bosnia was tired. And so they got most of their scoring out uh, quick shots. So good to see Bosnia looking much better. But 50 points to me, way too much. Uh, so their defense needs to pick up a little bit. But uh, China is right on track where they left off yesterday. Yep. I'm telling you, China has come here to make a statement. And their statement is... They are podium quality. And I think anything under a top three finish could be disappointing for China. Well, Jones with that big first half. And she looks like a more rested, different player, kind of the player you expect out of a all-star WNBA player. Uh, you know, all-star EuroLeague player as well. And do Bosnia have enough to climb back or are China going to have another hot half? We will find out and we will be right back after halftime. Who will you become when the moment arrives? And you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. I know France kind of thought about, you know, do they rest, repair? Well, here's Jackson from three! Murray Jackson's on the board for Australia! Speed to Akaho. They waited a very long time for that. Patience paying off. The legs will probably be heavy, but she's still in the game. 
You mean Connecticut and Sydney aren't close to each other? And what a block by Girantes. And now again, Puerto Rico, they're pushing the tempo. They want to get out and run. Nice patience by Hollingshed. And now Puerto Rico have jumped out to a six-point lead early in this first quarter. Yeah, and there you see that big block. Talbot, it's a Tolo. The mismatch is on. And she can't quite capitalize yet. Gets the offensive ball, blocked by repair. Gets a third chance, and the end one! Mariana Tolo setting the Sydney Superdome on fire! What a fight by Mariana Tolo. Well, five seconds. Anderson asked to create. Nice defense, but she finds Krejcnik, and Krejcnik does not miss when she is that close to the basket. Beautiful play. What a great pass and play. Yeah, lovely. She's got Stewart all over her so far in these first seven minutes. And a hand in her face. Get it out of here. Nice little back cup, but Brianna Stewart was having none of that. Technically, we're all roommates over the next two weeks here for the FIBA World Cup. Oh, and I those love. two first points here, Kone. is now just showing off for the crowd and you hear them cheering on her exceptional play. China 105, Korea 44. Williams. Talbot the most important hand in her face, but it doesn't matter, Gabby Williams. Goodness me, welcome to the Gabby Williams show. Jeez, Talbot did everything right. And Williams still drained that three pointer, 23 points. That's that shot clock pressure right down. That's the U.S. playing that defense. But here, we see a chance for Belgium now. Laying on the left, it's good. Now that'll hit the highlight reel. A little behind the back, no look pass from Van Lu. Yeah, what a beauty. I was looking down at that transition. <laughs> Well, welcome back here. China leading by 19 to over Bosnia and Herzegovina. And that woman right there looks like a different woman compared to the game she played yesterday. 15 points in the first half, five of seven, one of two, trying to do a little bit of whatever her team needs. She has more of a fight in her today. Yes, yeah, she has more energy in those legs, that's for sure. She has 15 points, and she had 15 points yesterday, eight rebounds, and probably about 15. I don't even think she played 20 minutes yesterday. So much better fight, but and also a better fight from the Herzegovina Dragons. Um, looking much better, but this is a full handful against this Chinese team. They have put up 50 big points in this first half. They scored. Uh, 107 yesterday against Korea. So they're on their way for that same score line. But you know what? This Chinese team is well oiled and they are looking for a spot on that podium. And here's Lee Ru. She was fantastic also. 11 points. And I feel like the post, you know, I'm always biased, Shona. <laughs> you pick your cards, I pick the post. And uh, it's a tough ask. You know, as soon as she subs out, then you put in Hang Xu in, and she's six nine. It's a lot. There's not many players that can defend, not one but two post players. Because as soon as one subs out, the other one comes in, and you're just like, oh man, yeah. when do I catch a break round here? I agree with you. There are not many teams in the world that have two talented post players who are as tall as skilled. China's yeah. And, yeah. and as skilled. skilled. Yes. yes. 
yeah, skilled around the basket. They can shoot, uh, you know, good shot blockers. Fantastic play by them. Well, there we see some of the fans here today. There is a big, and we saw it yesterday, a big uh, Bosnian fan base here, along with, there was a few more Chinese fans out yesterday than there are here today. There was actually, wasn't there? This game late late start at 2.30. Yeah, what time The game yesterday now? was later in yeah. the afternoon. 23.21 still having their lunch anyway here we get to see the teams making their way out to halftime as they have managed to have a little halftime talk re-up and it doesn't really matter because i feel like they get a good solid uh, production off their bench they have good starters and then as soon as those subs come in it doesn't drop yeah you talked about that yesterday starters did a great job they played a lot more in the first half than they did in the second half for china and then their bench players got significant minutes yesterday yes and and, and yet again didn't dip. their yeah. scoring didn't dip in the second half yesterday yep and i'm just checking yeah and i'm right everyone who's touched the floor has scored and that's impressive and that's dangerous so who do you stop you know and there's mr Yao Ming, the goat of Chinese basketball, looking on. That's pretty cool to have him in the building. Yep, obviously a big part of this uh, Chinese basketball federation. I think Chinese basketball as a whole, isn't it? He really cares, pushes, and uh, is a legend of his own. There's one of your favorite players who <laughs> scored 10 points, four from six, two, three from three. Li Meng, another great performance by her. She was good yesterday too. She just didn't play a whole lot no. in the second half. They I mean, didn't need, need her to. to. Yeah. Yep. And we, we talked about this. We know that if you go all the way to the podium, it's bodies. eight games yeah. in 10 days. So you need to have, I really believe that you need to have a, a good bench to be able to compete land on the podium because eight days in 10 days is eight games in 10 days sorry is just a lot of miles and a lot of pounding if you're only going six seven deep yeah for your starters and um, we saw that right they were up a good a great amount as uh john Cole jones makes her way onto the court they were up significantly against korea he emptied his bench everyone played everyone scored Everyone gets the feel. And also, that's that's a real thing, right? Coming out on the court, feeling those first nerves. We saw Serbia, they started their young players today. Getting those jitters out, that's a thing. You know, you have to come out here, get that out of the way, clear the cobwebs, and then you're feeling much, much better. And, and China, China does that. They yeah. play all, all 12 players. They do. We know that. Both these teams have a game tomorrow as well as Anya. So Bosnia are going to be taking on Korea, and China will be facing the USA. That will be a good game. be a great game. Really good game. I would like to see how they match up, to be honest, because I think the speed of the Chinese can keep up with the uh, USA. So as long as they don't come out, and be scared and match their physical uh, physicality, I would say, yeah. then they're in with a chance. But if you come out scared, the USA just sniff it and they just, you know, they go for the jugular. Yeah, I agree with you. I think speed, height, they definitely have skill. But they all, they also, they, they, only played, physical? they only played eight players, but I did see on the uh, World Cup app on Instagram that Chelsea Plum, Gray and uh, Alyssa Thomas. Alyssa Thomas played, um, but they're in they're the building. Still waiting for Wilson to arrive, correct? Asia Wilson. She's not here. Well, they did win the WNBA champion, so maybe she's just having a little bit of a, a lovely time, and uh, which she deserves. That team not at full strength, but I tell you, who is at full strength? The Chinese. 
are ready to roll in this second half. They've put up 50 points. Can they break the 100 barrier again? Do you want to put a wader on that? <laughs> a wally? Well, a sweetie? That's how they did it. 26 points in the paint, 14 fast break points. You got to get back and you got to defend because they can get out and run. But we saw, we saw them. Uh, Bosnia get back, they had three to four bodies, and China still outrun them. They still got somebody running faster than them, and Bosnia, Herzegovina, I love that. Can I get that scarf? It's kind of chilly in here sometimes, no? But yeah, they get out and run, it doesn't matter. Bosnia got back in defense, we saw that uh, show now, and China was, yeah, they, they ran right past them. Anyway, go ahead and scan. Your World Cup app keeps you up to date with all the latest scores. Belgium has beaten Korea 84-61, and you can find that information when you go and get your app. Well, welcome back, basketball fans. FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup action going on right now. Start of the second half, China up 19 over Bosnia and Herzegovina. China with another huge first half performance. 50 points, you mentioned it, everyone who has played has scored for this China team. And 31 points, I know they're trailing by 19, but gosh, this is a different Bosnian team than we saw yesterday. Yeah, much, much better. They finally got into the time zone of down under, it took me about three days, so don't blame them. Gets it back to Delic. And trying to attack the mismatch, but someone's going to have to shoot. And they can't, first possession out of halftime, they can't even get a shot at the basket. Yeah, they don't. And that, for me, I'm throwing that one up there. You've got JJ under the rim. Uh, Lee's really should have threw it at the rim and give it a chance. But anyway, China now, after the turnover. Nima hits the three right where she left off in the first half. Shona's favorite players come to play. She doesn't <laughs> show any emotion. She's uh, as cold as ice. Oh, Jones, double team, Delic. Three point shot is good. So that's a better start or better possession, excuse me, by Bosnia. Yang finds the shooter, the hot hand. Guess what, she can make it from there. <laughs> she can, and the time was running out, so good decision to put it on the rim. And Jones, she likes this, but look at that. Yang goes and doubles, but she's going to be called for a reach-in foul. She disagrees. I disagree with that one, actually. I think let's have a look, and then we can be correct. Look, she has her hands all over the ball. Yeah. And she didn't she run into no, you know, space. Yeah. I think that's a jump ball situation. Well, favorable call for Bosnia. And trust me, both teams get favorable calls throughout the course of the game. No one is perfect. Tavic, she had a great first half. Look, she needs to shoot it there. In my Jones, eye. shot clock, powers her way in, but they're going to call an offensive foul against Jones, and she's shaking her head, but more importantly, that's her third, oh. Azania. Oh, that is her third. Let's have a look at this powerful move. Mm. Stayed in a cylinder, or is that a swing of the elbow? But I don't think it was. Oh, well, from that angle. She, it wasn't aggressively, you know, you see yeah, some post players especially space. who just have their elbows out and... Oh, goodness me, Yang Liwei just goes all the way. Lang, Yang Liwei is so quick. You blink and she's right there at the rim. And this is what I mean, she's just as far as, as quick as some of the USA guards, yeah. and that's why I think they can match up. up yeah. So, easy pass inside. 
and nice patience in finding the mismatch. And Delich is the recipient of the good passing. And Li Mang to Pan. Her three point shot is off, but there for the offensive rebound is Lee who turns it over. Knesevic is out running and she takes it all the way, but just can't finish with her left hand. And for the first time, Bosnia Herzegovina out in transition, just can't finish. And penetration and kick, Yang to Wang, and it's good. Beautiful basketball drive, wide open Wang in the corner, I love it. Every one of these Chinese basketball players is a threat offensively. Delich, and easy call there by the referee, a little late coming in to help is the Yuiru. That was nice sportsmanship from her, didn't she? Yeah. Picked her up. But, yep. And, and so I was talking about how I really believe, you know, 10 players deep at least, this Chinese team, they play well as a group and as a whole, but they're also all very capable of scoring, but they know their roles as well. Yeah. And look they at sure this. Li Mang takes it all the way. And another fast break point for China. And she floats in the air with that one, and that's what I'm talking about. As soon as Bosnia misses, they're out. They're out the gates and they're running. And Li Mang has been on the end of that one, but many Chinese players, including the post players, in fact, they better get it in, they do. Tavic with that big first half and has been slow here as miscommunication. She turns it off and who's off to the races, but can't finish and uh, an opportunity, well, an opportunity, Bosnia got lucky, let's say that. Jones drives baseline, tough fadeaway shot is no good. And there is no slowing down this Chinese team. Li Mang, nice. easy dump pass. Beautiful to the captain, basketball. Yang Li Wei, Woo. and now a timeout. Oh, I love I that. I agree with you. Show me that one again. This Chinese team is dangerous, folks. Here it is. Look at this. Nice pass. Li Mang behind her back. Drop off pass. Beautiful Chinese basketball. I love it. Time out, Bosnia. They need to talk about it. Don't, we can't have two guards here. Just we we dribble the ball to... or pass the ball here. If we have a guard here, cut through the paint. So we can have a clear isolation. And after that... Because there's no isolation there, they just go and help. That's why Jay Bull gotta stop standing here and get here. It's a high low, it's easy. Always. Take the shot and move the ball up. When we stand in here. Always, when she's here. Match coffee, you stand on the super close, on the opposite side. Stop. Let's they sound uh, a little frustrated in that, just saying that, uh, listen, the high-low is there, is what JJ really wants. Uh, make sure you're there. But to be honest, she's right. But also China playing great defense. And really, China are doing very well with that. They know they want the high-low. Oh, it's a cute baby. Well, you said... <laughs> You saw the cute baby. Yep. And you also saw the stats. One rebound shy of a double-double for Lee Yuiru. And great little shot by Telich. She almost turned the ball over, but got her own Aaron pass back. Well, Lee Meng. Missed that one, and ball will go back to Bosnia. What I like about China is they're all threats offensively, and they all can score inside, outside, driving three-point shots, 
but they they want to win more than their own stats. Yeah. And so they play very unselfish. Correct. You know, someone might be open, but someone might have a better shot. They'll pass to the better shot. Even if, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. They'll give up a good shot for a better shot. Exactly. Yeah, they really play for each other. And this is a nice little rebound. Yeah, it follows her own shot. So good job there by Delich. And that's going to be, I believe, the third foul on Yang Liwei, the captain. So she's going to have to go out. But do not worry, because guess what? She goes out, and then you sub in Wu Tong Tong. Yeah. Wu Tong Tong. She had uh, nine points yesterday, so she was feeling herself also. 28 years old, Wu Tong Tong. And Delich now has eight points. She missed first. But again, a lot of people stepping up for this Bosnian team in this game, which we did not see yesterday. But guess what? Lee Mang says, I know I'm a shooter. You're going to anticipate and cheat, thinking I'm going to go off that down screen. I'm just going to backdoor you. Yeah, and she just puts the thumbs up. Good job. I got 17 <laughs> points. Thank you very much. Now we need to move. Yeah, see, John Cole Jones is saying cut. Delich gives it up, and that's a last-second shot by Markovic. Look at this. Look at this basketball, folks. Wang, see you. See you later, is what she said to Bosnia Herzegovina. <laughs> they are just so quick and so unselfish. I love the way that this China team is playing. I talked a little bit yesterday in their game against Korea. Yeah, what did you say? Tell you me. were there, we were together. I know, tell me. I can't and remember. remember I said, you know, this isn't the first time that I've been, I've seen China playing really this well. well. Oh, yes. And I have an impression that at the end of tournaments, they start to fade when that's the moment where you have to elevate your yeah. play. And I'm really hoping that they're able to be consistent or, yeah, change that, you know, history uh, in, you know, the past two since, you know, I would say 2018, the World Cup. They had a good team then. They were a lot younger, but they still had a good team and they faded. Yeah. And they fade also because they can never get over the hump of beating Japan. Yeah. You know, in, a in recent Asia years. Cup. Yeah, yeah, in Asia Cup. So Li Yuan gets her ball back, and Wu Tong Tong, that shot somehow rolls in, and she smiles and shakes her head. And again, you said it, look at China's coach, Wei Zhuang. Are we ever gonna see a she smile clapped. out of her? She clapped. She clapped, she didn't well smile. Done. It looked like she wanted to crack the <laughs> smile, but she's like, oh, I can't. Yeah, she stays serious and focused, and she, uh, you know, paces back and forth in her coaching box. Delich. Some nice moves here in the second half. That's an incredibly tough shot. And bad pass by Huang. But good job there by Li Mang getting back on defense. Good job by uh, John Betta to steal that back. So it leaves a little bit of a mismatch here. And she goes right at Lee Mang, but key, she can't score. And now they're running. And what a fake pass. And then the pass to Lee Yuiru. Beautiful tongue tongue. Little fake behind the pass. Nice. I love it. That was I'm great. really enjoying this Chinese basketball. If you're a fan of basketball, it's definitely a great showing, I think, here. Look at this. Little, oh, oh, psych, gotcha. That was good. Really good. Raja Rondo. Mate, that was a Raja Rondo yeah, move. He uh, created that. <laughs> it's like rock the baby behind you, come back. Yeah. 
Well, China up big now. They were up big at half. How about that, folks? How do you Whoa. stop that? Hong Shu for three. Hong Shu comes off of that screen and hits that three. Wow! I'm out of my seat. I love it. <laughs> Good defense by the Chinese, and here they go again. And now they slow it up. Huang left open, and her three-point shot is good. And this score has now ballooned. 77 for China, 43 for Bosnia and uh, Herzegovina. And for me, Hong Xu just gives you such a different look from Li Ru. She can extend and shoot. Uh, and uh, that's so hard to guard, in my opinion. Like I said, she's 6'9". Here it comes off the down screen, sets her feet, and nothing but net. I love it. Splash for her. Let's listen in to the timeout. <laughs> Never <laughs> <laughs> Well, quick timeout for Coach Loyo. And let's see if his team can respond. They have a minute and 31 left in this quarter. You know, they should have two to three offensive opportunities if they can get a couple scores and a couple stops to end this third quarter. Jombetta, that shot was on, and that's gonna be a boxing out foul by number 10, Zhang Ru. You don't, you don't agree with it? Or you thought it was sold? No, I don't like it. <laughs> because especially, I mean, I'm a post player, right? But if there's a disadvantage, the only way you can stop the post player getting the ball is boxing her out. But anyway, it's uh, good for Bosnia Herzegovina because they, get to go to the free throw line for this next minute and 16 seconds because China is over the line. All five red lights are on under their name and one out of two. Well, Hong Shu, she missed a couple threes in the first half, hasn't missed a three in this half. And Delic, sorry, Markovic, I believe it was, is going to be called for the foul, trying to prevent Han Shu. There you see it from just posting up. And Li Yuan. Her three-point shot is good. They are so dangerous, and you have to bump that cross screen. But yeah, then which if you one bump, you you're yeah. giving up the three. Yeah. You bump, you give up the three. If you don't, you have Hang Shu under the rim. It's tough. Pick your poison. <laughs> Great passing, a nice backdoor cut by Jombetta. Well, last possession, there's about a second difference between the game and shot clock. Han Shu just easily turns around and scores. Yep. Easy money. That's a good job from uh, not to foul. And look at this defense by Wu Tong Tong. Not enough time. So China again with another big quarter. They scored 32 points in that quarter. Well, China leading at the end of three, 82 to 46 over Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here's the stats uh, 
A three-point shot, 10 from 22 from China, 45%. Nice little clip and really doing everything pretty right. Uh, all scorers on the floor have scored and best plays of the third quarter. Everyone who's touched the floor has scored. And uh, Lee Mong is your favorite one. <laughs> And for me, I think China is looking good. They're firing on all cylinders. I think what we spoke about is can they withstand this? Can they hold this till the podium games? You know, it's a long time. We're still in group phase. This is game two. Go ahead. You just it. described China as looking good. Yeah. Fantastic. Sensational. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. My describing words aren't describing enough. Excuse me. Fantastic, sensational, lovely, fantastic. I love it all because they have been really, really good. And like these highlights show, they have shared the ball. They found their open players like that one. And uh, Hang Shu says, yes, I shoot the three. And look, there's the clap. There's the clap from coach. Told you. No Wei. smile, though. No smile, but a nice clap from Wei, and that's all we need to see. Go ahead and scan your courtside 1891 to stream all the games, the scores, and keep up. Uh, there was a game earlier that we did, which was fun, and then uh, that was Serbia got their first win. And uh, Belgium won earlier today versus Korea. Well, 10 minutes left. China up 82 to 46 over Bosnia and Herzegovina. And another huge statement performance so far by China. Let's see what happens in these last three minutes. Han Chu fights with the rebound, but it was actually Li Yuan who comes up with it. And Bosnia still playing hard. I like this for Bosnia Herzegovina. You're down, but you're still playing tough. Huang, both are three-point attempts off the front of the rim. Jones takes it and is fouled on the kick out. And Jones wants basically her players to get out the way. That shot, if had it gone in, <laughs> would have been definitely on the highlight reel, but that's a tough, tough shot. To yeah. Make. Well, we've seen a off one foot before. And Zhang Ru's pull-up jump shot at the free throw line is off. Tavich needs to get going now. Also, Tavich had a good first half, good kick. Elise. And why didn't she do that earlier? Yeah. I would say in the first half and even a few times yeah, in the third quarter, open look. she's yeah. been open and passed up open shots. I would have to agree with you, Shona. Li Yuan. Skip pass to Wu Tong Tong. And they just don't miss. I love it. Tong Tong. Tong Tong gets her chance to shoot the three also. 44% from three. That's an incredible shooting percentage. That is. Tavich is defended. At least knocked one down from there on the last play. And Wu Tong Tong is out to the races in a great Let's say touchdown pass by Li Yuan to the Wu Tong Tong, who is sprinting out. Well, no doubt the Chinese could definitely uh, compete in a track meet. 100, <laughs> 100 meter sprint, maybe? 100 meter, and also you don't feel like their level ever Drops. dips. Yeah. So maybe the 100 as well as the 1500 meter. <laughs> there you go. And that shot's well off.
first time we've seen China actually walk the ball up, set an offensive play. And we know Han Xu can shoot the three. She, she doesn't hesitate if she's open no, out she's there. She's got the green light, ultra green light. I'm shooting that. My coach is subbing me out. So Huang puts her hand up. She smiles and says, yeah, that foul was on me. This is the first time we're seeing Ayla Ikanovic. Ikanovic, yes. Well, again, you know, uh, we can look to the future, and the future for Group A is tomorrow. <laughs> okay, what is that for? And we do know Bosnia are going to go up against Korea. Uh-huh. Who, after seeing Korea, so we know that Korea lost to China. China yesterday, 107 to 44. And earlier today, they lost to Belgium, 84 to 61. Maybe, just maybe, I mean, John Kill Jones is still in the game, but Coach uh, Loyo is thinking about the future a little bit and might be going to his bench in this fourth quarter. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, because you could, Bosnia playing like they are now, they can beat Korea. Ooh, behind the back, yeah. Hang Chu. She can do it all. Li Wang with the floater and the soft kiss off the glass. I love it, Li Wang down the middle. And like you said, good soft kiss. We're here for it. And aggressive defense, but it stays Bosnian ball. And Delic looked over to coach Goran Loyo and said, I need a sub. Yep. And that's okay. No shame in her game. I do the same thing. Sometimes you just be like, coach, you're forgetting me out here. Give me a blow. <laughs> and you just need a minute. And Dumozin, number nine, checks in for Bosnia. So her the first as well about, getting yeah. uh, some minutes. And why not? And, well, she was open for a second, but you blink your eye and here comes <laughs> Hung Shu, ready to block the shot. Good hands by Hung Shu. And uh, ball goes out of bounds. There's only one second. I think she got it up in time. Yes, she did. And Wu Tong Tong. And another three point shot attempt is off by China. But Han Shu there. And Jones looks more tired than she did at the beginning of the game, that's for sure. Yep. And they double Jones. Slow and to get she up. She is very slow to get up. She's going to let her teammates play four on five. And a missed easy basket there by Ikanovic, who just checked in a couple minutes ago. Wide open, Ikanovic. That was your time to shine, girl. Anyway, Chinese ball. Here they go. And Yuong had a lot of time to shoot that ball, but she has not found her shooting touch here in this tournament, really. She had a couple shots yesterday, but she has missed shots that I would say she typically makes. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. JJ will take. That's probably the end of her night tonight, I think. Is it tonight yet? No, it's 3.55 this afternoon. Uh, that's enough, because they play Korea, and I think they can get Korea tomorrow, so good sub. 
And good I minutes agree. from her. Yeah, better I agree with you. Today. Better. Her her, look as tired. her attitude, her energy level, definitely higher than yesterday. Tavage to Elise. And Elise just misses the easy basket as well. But here come China. And a nice strong move there by Han Shu. And I'm gonna guess we might see China surpass that 100 point mark again. Oh, really? <laughs> We've got four minutes 22 of action still to come. They're gonna surpass their score from yesterday, which was 107 is what they're gonna surpass. And again, we saw more uh, substitutions out of Coach Wei Jun of China yesterday. I'm surprised she hasn't, oh, as I say that, look what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> Substitutions. Oh, so, oh, they were over there warming yeah, up. Yeah, they were over there warming up. So now you will see some of China's bench players come in and will be given an opportunity. Oh, there you see it. Number 13 checking into the game, Dilena, and number eight, Jin. Jin had some uh, good minutes yesterday. I quite enjoyed her play. Yep. Well, let's see what she can do here today. And they're gonna need to get the shot up. And Lee Yuan had to put that up and it was well off. So a 24 second shot clock violation by China gives the ball back to Bosnia. And probably their first and only bad shot, in my opinion. In a base. I think they were just too unselfish and yeah. too patient. Yeah. Yura. Back out to Jombetta. And she gets it back. They have to shoot it off the front of the rim and China running. Nope. Lee Yuan says, let's slow it down a little bit. And you said it yesterday. Gotcha. Jin had some good minutes for them. And she, is that her first points of this tournament? Yes. Yeah. Wanted her she was the only yesterday. one who didn't score yesterday. Had a couple looks. Oh, yeah. And Jumbetta. a shot by Jumbetta there. Oh, you're right. That's what it was yesterday. I thought everyone had scored when number 13, uh, Dilana scored. Yeah, you're right. But she's and got you her corrected first, me, yep. yep. She's got her first bucket already for the tournament. Great for her. Well, Hangzhou. That puts her on uh, 14 points. She's had a lovely day. 14.7 rebounds. Just a casual day at the office. Yeah, I like it. Drumbetta attacks the basket hard. Isn't able to draw the foul or make the basket, but a good offensive rebound by Dumuzin. And tough shot rolls out by Ikanovic. And now Lee Yuan wants to slow it down and run the offensive sets here in yeah. the last few possessions of the game. They're really executing these last few plays as they go inside. Great, nice little high-low action. And this is what I mean. Delana was open, ha, you know, scored yesterday, hasn't played a lot in this tournament. She had an opportunity to shoot. It wouldn't have been a bad shot, but she knew Han Shu was open underneath the basket. Yeah. And this is, they're a very unselfish team. It's not about them individually, it's about them as a team. Well, Dura's three point shot is off. And again, Di Yuan is gonna slow it down. They might not reach 100. Oh, no. <laughs> You're right, but they still got a minute of action, minute and six seconds. Nice little move there from Hangzhou. 
I'm always a fan. And you're right, they give up a better shot for a fantastic shot, shall well, I say. And good you, minutes from her. Yeah, exactly. You see the applause by the fans behind the bench there for Han Shu checking out. Yep. And you said it, 18 points, eight boards in 19 minutes of play. Not a bad oh, night at the office. I'm happy with that if I'm her. I'm ecstatic, actually, to be honest. That's a lovely day. Well, offensive foul is going to give the ball back to Bosnia. And they have a chance to score a couple more baskets here. Diura takes it hard. And that was a tough left-handed layup that was well off the mark. And now Li Yuan. Again, slowing it down, wants them to run their offense. Li Yuan, and her ball is tipped, so that's a turnover. Jumbetta is running, stop, pops, and just off at the front of the iron. So, the shot clock is turned off. Technically, China does not need to shoot. They do, because they need to make a hundred. they need to make a hundred, you might only right, owe you. you. Yeah, I do. Well, five seconds, Li Yuan, <laughs> off the mark. And that Ooh. is going to be it, folks. And another exceptional performance from China, but still no smile from the coach as they beat Bosnia and Herzegovina 98 to 51. Well, it's all about the Chinese ladies, all smiles for them as they high five the Bosnia Herzegovina. For me, Bosnia much, much better from yesterday, so I'm happy for them. But it's all about the Chinese, in my opinion. They are looking good, well oil machine, all 12 players doing their job, staying in their lane, and uh, they're ready. They're ready for the next the next challenge. They're two and zero. Oh. Yep. And I would say I know they only scored 51 points. They scored 58 yesterday, but Bosnia looked a lot better today than they did yesterday. And they played a lot tougher team as well. Yes. No, I would have to agree with you there. Uh, China shooting 37% uh, in the end, pulled up a little bit, 11 from 30. Free throw line, good. And the rebounded game went to the Chinese also, 47 to 31. Steals were 11 and 31. Beautiful assist. They shared the ball well, hung with 18 points, leading all scorers. And no doubt, Mother of Dragons, John Quill Jones, lead scorers at 17. High fives all around for the Chinese. They're a happy group, coaching staff. Uh, also a team and have done a great job. Well, like the beginning of the half, uh, beginning of the game, it's going to be all China highlights all game long. And that's what happens when you score 98 points. They are averaging over 100 points in two games in this tournament and the reason why is because every game they have multiple people score in double figures. Today they had Wu Tong Tong with 12 points, Yang Li Wei with 12, my fan Li Mang with 17, and Li Yuiru with 13, along with Han Shu with 18. I just a that. great yep. and, and after that people who get you know significant playing time contribute as well yep and Jin got her first bucket of the tournament of yes the tournament um, but a great well-rounded team China can't speak enough about them they're looking good everyone's playing everyone's staying in their lane everyone's scoring there's no doubt there's a lot of confidence in that camp right now yep and you saw better energy from this Bosnia and Herzegovina team. Uh, John Kill Jones came out on fire in the first half. She did get fatigued there in the fourth, but you knew they were going to lose. I think Coach Goran Loyo 
decided to take some of his uh, players who are used to playing or who need to play big minutes because we know that they are all going to move on and have a game tomorrow. And Bosnia and Herzegovina, it's going to be a big game against Korea. I think both these teams can beat each other. And obviously, Bosnia looking for history with their win and Korea trying to break their streak of losses in many, many years at the World Cup. China will be taking on the USA tomorrow at 2.30. Well, game day two, Group A results. Puerto Rico lost to the United States, 106-42. to Belgium beat Korea, 84-61. to China over Bosnia and Herzegovina, 98-51. to Game day two, China on top with the USA, 2-0. Belgium and Puerto Rico 1-1, one one. Bosnia and Herzegovina along with Korea looking for their first win in this Basketball World Cup. Well, thanks for joining. And lots more basketball to be played here in Sydney, Australia, China over Bosnia. Thank you and goodbye.